Bailey, and Emma were seniors at Oxford High School in 2021 when tragedy struck. A 15-year-old opened fire on his classmates, killing four and injuring seven. It's just so scary, and you never think that would ever happen. The girls lost friends and a sense of safety that day, telling themselves that it would never happen again as they started college at Michigan State University. What were your hopes for this year? What were you looking forward to? Just, like, being able to go into a new environment, um, like, just, like, a clean slate, kind of. Run! But then it happened again. Ava, Bailey, and Emma, now MSU freshmen, were on campus February 13th when a 43-year-old gunman shot and killed three students before taking his own life. I was just purely in shock, honestly, and horrified. They say they're now part of a horrifying and growing club of people who have survived two school shootings. We, the children of the United States of America, are dying every day. How many will die before it is enough? I felt like a lot of the progress I had made over the last 14 months just completely disappeared. And you're like, where, where do I go now? Like, how do I, like, come back from this? I had that trauma response. It kind of just clicked in my brain, and I was like, okay, well, we need to, like, in order to stay safe, this is the things that we can do, so we should do it, like, just to make sure. As the MSU community heals from the tragedy, the group says they feel an obligation to help their fellow students, some experiencing the trauma of gun violence for the very first time. I just tell them, like, if they want to talk, like, they can. Like, emotionally, I know, like, what it's like to go through it already. Um, so I'm just kind of there for them. Healing has not been easy. After the Oxford shooting, I remember crying and the emotions the first time were very present. When it came to the second time, I felt very numb and I felt like, is there something wrong with me? Why can't I cry? None of us are okay, but there's no timeline for like coming back from this. Like, I feel like a lot of people, like the first time I felt pressured to like just bounce back. And you don't have to do that. Like you're like, feel it, it'll help. Do you think you'll ever feel fully safe going to school? I mean, no, honestly. Um, it's kind of always a thought at the back of my head. Danielle Campamore, NBC News.